Hey, what's up guys, Mark here. In this video, we're gonna be looking at what a SPAC is, a S-P-A-C. Now in the recent months, uh, Donald Trump has announced that he's gonna be launching his own social media platform. It's called Truth Social. He also has a technology and media company. And his media company is going to be merging with a shell company or a SPAC. And we wanna kinda of dive in and look at what that definition is. It's called a special purpose acquisition company. It's basically a company that has no commercial operation and is formed strictly just to raise capital. Sometimes they refer to it as a shell company or a blank check company. Now, what they eventually want to do is they wanna circumvent the whole IPO process. That could be long and drawn out sometimes. Now, these blank check companies uh, have been around for decades. Their purpose has soared in the recent years, especially in 2020. There were 247 SPACs that were created uh, with over $80 billion invested. Now, with these SPACs, a lot of times, these investors will dump a whole bunch of money into these shell companies blindly. They won't even know what they're gonna be getting into. There's a short video that I want to uh, bring up for you real quick from Investopedia, and it'll give you a very simple breakdown of what a SPAC company is. So let's go ahead and dive into that real quick. A special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC, is a shell company formed to raise capital through an initial public offering, or IPO, in order to acquire an existing company. At the time of their IPOs, special purchase acquisition companies have no existing business operations or even stated targets for acquisition. In fact, in general, a SPAC's only assets are monies raised through the IPO. SPACs are also known as blank check companies because IPO investors have no idea what company they'll ultimately be investing in. They're generally formed by investors or sponsors with expertise in a particular industry or business sector with the intention of pursuing deals in that area. And investors in SPACs can range from well-known private equity funds to the general public. The money SPACs raise in an IPO is placed in an interest-bearing trust account. During this time, the SPAC's founders generally have two years to acquire a company. The funds in the trust can only be dispersed for two reasons. To complete an acquisition of a company or to return the money to investors if they don't complete an acquisition in the two-year time frame. SPACs have been around for decades, but in recent years, they've become more popular attracting big name underwriters and investors and raising a record amount of IPO money. So there you have it folks, pretty interesting uh, uh, explanation of what a SPAC is and not to be too redundant, but again, just to give you a quick summary, it's just a, a simple shell company, a blank check company that investors go ahead and dive into, they pump money into. That money since sits in an interest bearing account for usually around two years if nothing happens or if no business is acquired by that two year time period, the investor gets all of their money back. Now, some of the risks of uh, investing in a SPAC is number one, they're investing blindly. They don't know what they're quite investing into. So at the end of the day, you may be an investor and the, the, SPAC, get, uh, the SPAC gets acquired and it could be a a company that you don't agree with or that you're not in complete alignment with. So there is a little bit of a risk factor there. Returns from the SPAC uh, may be well below expectation uh, when the initial hype has worn down. Now, we saw recently with Donald Trump's uh, social media company uh, proposal and his media and technology group that there's a lot of hype surrounding it. Now, Trump's media and technology company plans to merge with a company called Digital World Acquisition Corp. That's the SPAC involved. And because of this hype, DWAC, who is listed on the NASDAQ, spiked in its share price. Um, as a matter of fact, there was a point where that SPAC, uh, w, uh, DWAC, went up as high as $175 from $10. Now, traditionally, when a SPAC is introduced, you can buy shares for $10 a piece. And so at the beginning, the price of this DWAC were about $10. And when the announcement of Trump's social media campaign and his new social media, his technology and his media company were introduced, 
man, people started diving in and started buying that SPAC and the, the shares rose up as, as high as uh, 165%. Now, again, some of the risk of investing in a SPAC is that after the hype dies off, that price or that valuation of the company could drop considerably after, you know, everybody after the frenzy is over. Because uh, what happens is people buy into the FOMO. They don't want to miss it. The fear of missing out. They don't want to miss out. So they go ahead and buy, 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 buy. When they realize it's just a bunch of hype and they're on the hype train and that maybe this isn't going to go as well as they expected, they start to sell off. And that's how the uh, the the price of the, those shares decrease considerably. Now, some of the best and well-known companies have become publicly listed by merging with SPACs, such as uh, the sports and digital entertainment gaming company DraftKings, the aerospace and space technology company Virgin Galactic, energy storage innovator Quantum Space, and real estate platform Open Door Technologies have been some of the uh, more major companies that have been uh, acquired or that have acquired SPACs, and they allowed uh, their shares and, and pieces of their company to be bought by by big investors and small investors alike. You can even purchase SPACs on uh, places like Robinhood or, or brokerage accounts that you can download on your phone like Charles Schwab and E-Trade and apps like that. So guys, that is the video on what is a SPAC. If you did get any value out of this video, please go ahead and drop a like on this video. Click that little thumbs up button, make it turn white. And then that little subscribe button, click that subscribe button, help this video, you know, get out to more people, share it on your social media, do the things that you need to do that all the other YouTubers tell you to do on every one of their videos videos, you know exactly what to do. And please, more than anything, drop a comment down below if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if this was your first time realizing or listening and hearing what a SPAC really is, uh, you know, drop it down. Let's get a conversation going. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. And until the next video, guys, live loud, love harder, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next one.